landed in the ATL, about to jump on my connecting flight to San Fran, um, start filming later today. I just wanted to just give a little thanks and praise to what God has done in my life, man. Six years ago, um, I was listening to this motivational thing, and it told me to write your vision down, um, and I did that, and I I would read it every night and every morning. I'm still doing it till this day, six years later, and I did it because I wanted to see what I wanted before my eyes when I first woke up, before I went to bed, and meditate on those things. Um, this this journey hasn't been easy, you know. Been getting up middle of the night, driving to Chicago, getting off set, driving back, and now they're flying me to San Fran to work um, because only the grace of God. Trust your dream, trust this timing, and don't give up on yourself ever. God bless. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog, and we are starting season five now with episode six oh one. And I hope you guys enjoyed that intro there from Otis. Uh, I came across his page a while ago. I know we saw pictures of Otis uh, back when, uh, a year ago today, I, almost a full year exactly, almost to the date. Um, and like a week or so from now, last year, I went up to San Francisco after, it was like two weeks after my uh, surgery, and I went up there to check out the filming of Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage. And I think around that time, a picture of Otis was uh, posted online and there was a lot of you guys that were sharing it and, and spreading that around, which was really awesome. And that's how I kind of first came across his page. But uh, lately, I kind of went back and started paying attention to his page. And that's because, actually, of another uh, Instagram person named Fillmore Antidote, who is a follower of this show, but someone I wanted to give a major shout out to. Because Fillmore Antidote is making really great content. If you like behind the scenes stuff, you know, some of the stuff we talk about here on the Venom vlog. If you want to see some concept art, things like that, some things I've talked about on the show and some I haven't, I would say go follow Fillmore Antidote. I'm going to put a link down below. There's the name right there. I'll put a link down below. Go follow his Instagram page. He posts a lot of great stuff in his Instagram stories um, and also on their uh, main page as well. And, uh, and like I said, there's been some stuff that has been covered on there that even I haven't done episodes on for sure um, because I'm just one person, right? That's why we need a community of Venom fans because we are Venom and together we can, you know, spread all this uh, great information around. So if you want to see like really cool videos that are, you know, some of them are from like the DVDs and Blu-rays where it's like deleted scenes and stuff like that. But there's also just some really great nuggets of information, concept art, deleted scenes, um, other things behind the scenes stuff that Fillmore is posting. And I recommend that you do. And Fillmore also luckily posted something from Otis again. I said, oh, yeah, I, I remember like last year uh, seeing one of his pictures, uh, you know, on Instagram and I wanted to follow up with that. And I never did. So that's why I wanted to talk about him today and start the episode off with something movie related, um, but also to welcome Otis back into the family. So for those who don't know, Otis here was actually in the first Venom movie, and I think he's credited as the chasing guard or chasing guard. So um, I don't know exactly where in the movie he was. Uh, maybe someone can point out to me or let me know um, exactly where in the film he was. But, uh, but he was in the first Venom movie. And he got to return and come back in the second one. And he's playing a character uh, just right now labeled as Street Man. So um, we don't really know the story behind that, what's going on with him, if he's the same character from the first movie and he's just, you know, uh, playing a different, uh, like, version of that character in this one where it's like maybe he had, you know, something going on in one movie and then now he's, like, you know, doing something else in this movie and it's the same guy. Or if it's just, like, hey, he's friends with the people on the set um, and, you know, you know, got to know them in the first movie and they brought him back for the second one to play a, a, a part in it. So um, I don't know really what, um, you know, role he'll play or what kind of uh, what he's, you know, going to be a part of in the film. But what I do know is he's got a great attitude. I mean, you saw that intro there from him that he's, you know, a man of uh, belief and, uh, you know, he's, he's got, he's, you know, connected with God and stuff. Um, not something I'm a part of, obviously. And now we, we don't really talk about that too much on the show here. Except for times where we have mentioned where Eddie Brock is a man of God in a lot of ways in the comic books. And so we've mentioned that, you know, as part of his character trait and stuff and uh, kind of his uh, kind of what helps motivate him sometimes. You know, he believes in a, a bigger power and someone that, uh, you know, watches over him in some way and hopes hopefully will steer him in the right direction. And that's kind of part of Eddie's journey. Right. And I just thought that was kind of neat here hearing that from Otis and hearing him talk about that struggle of, you know, 
trying to get onto jobs as an actor and trying to get into onto a set and you know work you know work enough hours to get into the guild or the union or whatever and it's like you know he's really grinding and working hard and he shared this story where he talked about years ago that he you know he had to like he was driving across state lines you know to go to auditions and stuff and then when he got cast to be in venom let there be carnage he actually got flown out to san francisco and i thought that's i mean like come on like that's the dream right there right like this is what this guy has been working towards and working for is to um be taken seriously as an actor and then brought into a movie where he doesn't have to like give up so much you know to go be a part of it uh this time they made it easier for him and said hey man you rocked it we believe in you and you're coming to the movie set and you know and he even says he's so humble he's like i didn't he's like it's you know i've been working hard at this but only because of the grace of god am i here now uh taking this flight going to san francisco so a year ago me and this guy were crossing paths i was coming out of well, you know, whatever like my seventh eighth surgery um you know since my aneurysm rupture and and he is uh he's been grinding like during that whole time that uh, i think he said something like in 2010 uh, around september he got his first job and i was like wow the, our uh, it's like it's so weird the parallels of our lives where he it was grinding over here and then i was working my way over here and now here i am 601 episodes later uh finally talking about him on this show which i should have done when the first movie came out i should have uh i know i think we mentioned him in a casting episode once uh when we were going through the casting um but uh but i you know i wanted to follow up after seeing some of his pictures before and now here we are we're talking about him now so hopefully while i was talking there I, I showed some more images from his instagram because he's got a really great story and he just seems like he's he's like one of us you know he's he's a he's one of the parasites uh, out there and i don't mean that in a negative way if uh, if otis is watching like that's what we call ourselves here we're all parasites that watch the venom vlog and that are part of this uh, venom community and uh, and we're all people who struggle we're all people who work hard for things we're all people who want to be recognized for our hard work and want to achieve a goal um after working really hard at at it you know and uh, and seeing you do that and and crossing these finish lines and these hurdles while also you know having a family and raising your own family and um and being a good father and a good person it seems like um i just i don't know i wanted to shine a light on this guy because watching his video there that we saw um going through his page i mean i went back through photos from like years ago <laughs> like i was just going back seeing like okay when can i see if when he was cast for venom one you know and can i see where he was on venom one and i couldn't really find a ton there but i saw when he was working in san francisco for venom let there be carnage and it was right around the time i was visiting the set which was a year ago uh not exactly today uh because today is uh february 2nd but it was like the 15th or 16th i think that i uh in february when i went up last year and that was one of the last things i did because a month after that is when I packed up my car and I moved here to Florida. Um, and I left, you know, 13 years in California. Um, I left, the, you know, had to leave that part of my life behind and, and move forward because of my own health issues and my own things. Um, but I know what it's like to work hard at something and to reach uh, the next level. It doesn't happen a lot, especially for people who, you know, have to really work at it. And, 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 and he's in an industry that is you know, uh, is really tough. Like I've worked in the film industry too. It is really tough, especially on people who want to be actors and, and be noticed and, and be, bring something uh, of themselves to a movie and, and be a part of it. Um, and it's so great to see Otis making it and doing it. And I wish him luck. And I hope all of you guys too, um, please down in the comments or follow Otis and send him a message. Tell him you're one of the parasites. Tell him you love the guy. You know, let's not bombard him too much. Uh, but, you know, just show some support. Follow the guy. And any work he has coming up, uh, you know, we should definitely just like jared bankins and martin bats bradford and ariadne um you know and uh, and everyone ellen gernstein and everyone from the first movie like that we were following and we befriended you know otis is one of the family now he's one of us we are venom and we all stick together so you know keep an eye out for this guy keep an eye out for what movies and roles he'll be working on in the future and support him you know support him any way you can uh, for sure definitely watch his movies and if you have a youtube channel out there review stuff you know that he's in too uh, and get more awareness uh, out there and uh, and befriend him seems like a really nice guy so uh so thank you guys for watching this i'm glad this could be my first episode this season where it's kind of movie related but it's also you know about someone specific and about someone who is uh you know bringing a part of themselves to this new film and i'm excited to see no matter you know how big or small the roles are we follow everyone on this show we talk about everyone that we can uh, that works behind the scenes that are uh, you know in front of the camera behind the camera we try to do everything we can you know again i'm just one guy i'm doing my best but uh 601 episodes later and 2600 subscribers 
It means a lot. I appreciate you guys uh, for everything you do for me and for this channel. And, uh, you know, so go show some of that love towards uh, Otis here. He seems like a great guy and he deserves our support. So thank you guys so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And let me know what you think down in the comments below. We'll continue our conversation down there. See you in the future. Peace.